everybody welcome back to my channel yesterday was october 1st so that means we're doing halloween makeup again i think i'm gonna be posting mostly halloween makeup videos this month just to get in the spirit of it and to give you guys some ideas if you want anything if you want to do anything for halloween if you decide to recreate any of these looks or follow how i do it make sure you tag me on instagram but however, the look that I'm going to be doing today is something I have actually seen all over Instagram and I thought it would be a fun video to um, start out Halloween over. It is a spider eye, kind of. Um, you'll see in the thumbnail, you saw in the thumbnail. It is like a spider eye and it's supposed to look like it is kind of um, sitting on your eye. I'm gonna be using simple makeup. I thought this one looked really easy. So I'm gonna attempt to do it. I have not watched any tutorials on it. I've got my soft glam palette here because it has a nice black, um, very pigmented black eyeshadow. And I've got two NYX liquid liners in black and white. I already went and did my uh, face, my eyebrows. So we're gonna start out with a smoky eye, a black smoky eye. The first color I'm gonna go in with this dusty rose color and that's gonna be my first shade. So now the black, basically you start at your lash line and then work your way up. So after you have the black on your lid and you look really weird, take a smaller, like really tiny brush. I'm using this one from the Jeffree Star 1-3 uh, brush. So from the Morphe Jeffree Star collab, and I'm just gonna blend out that black. So take a little bit of black on the end of that and just kinda go right over halfway on top of it, of your line, and just start kinda going in small circles. And then you're gonna take another brush that's just a little bit bigger than that and go in with that dusty rose color and go right over where you're blending that black. And then just go back and forth until it's all blended out. Finally, now that the top is blended out, we're gonna add it to the bottom. Now we go in with that dusty rose color again under our lower lash line, really generously. All right, and then after that, go in with the black again and go right under your lower lash line. look like a panda bear or raccoon right now and then just blend it out with the dusty rose color again now that that's all blended out I'm gonna go ahead and add black eyeliner and black mascara now we're pretty much ready to draw the actual spider and you can either do it on both eyes or just one eye whichever eye you want I think I'm just gonna do it on one eye just because um, I want to keep it kind of like I don't know, not so scary, I guess. It's super easy. You're gonna take your NYX black eyeliner or you can use face paint, whatever it does. I don't really think it matters. The first four front legs are gonna go towards the inside of your face and then the other back legs are gonna go towards the outside of your face. And this is where you can get creative with your spider legs. You can draw them as long or as creepy as like, you know, weird as you want. So get creative with it. I'm gonna do mine pretty simple because I'm not that artistic. So how I'm doing it is I'm just drawing a, he's just got one ankle or whatever it is and I'm making it a little thick at the corner. So there's our first spider leg and because I drew it so close to the end of my brow, I'm gonna go ahead and make my brow a little darker on the tail. 
you know what um i should probably have my mirror on the other side i am like just now realizing that So these are what the first four legs look like and now next two legs on the inner corner of your eye going inward. Make sure to remember to make the ones right here kind of small because those will be the front legs. So now I have all my legs drawn and now is where we bring in the white eyeliner and we just draw kind of highlights on the tips of the legs. So for example, like here, we would just kind of like that. And also kind of one at the bottom to create more dimension in it. Oops, messed up there, but don't worry, we can go over it. Once all the highlight is on, so to say, the shine of the legs, now we're gonna do the shadow that makes it look kind of 3D. So I'm just gonna take a flat angled brush and get a little bit of the black eyeshadow on it. You're gonna kind of follow kind of how the leg goes. So, for example, it starts more black at the end here. So we're gonna go kind of heavy towards here and just kind of pull it and go lighter towards the middle. And then you're gonna go kind of heavy down here again towards the, towards the end of the other leg or the other side of the leg and just kind of pull it lightly and then just keep doing the same on all the legs see and it kind of looks like the shadow is like further away from your face it gives it a little more dimension instead of just creating like a straight shadow so that's why i like to do it like lighter in the center That is finally done. So this is pretty much the completed look. Um, yeah, I got kind of sloppy at the bottom, but the top actually looks pretty decent. I'm gonna be doing a black lipstick, you know, spooky kind of thing. So I'm using the Kat Von D um, Witches uh, Matte Black Lipstick. <laughs> And last but not least, it's time for lashes. And I've already, I'm going to be using my favorite lashes, the Tati Lashes TL2. And I use the dark tone, duo dark tone adhesive. And while I wait for this to tack in, I'm gonna pop in some earrings. Should have been wearing these the whole time. I forgot. I also got my nails redone. These are my Halloween nails, a little trippy. I've got um, stripes on the thumbs and pinkies, random stripes on these, and then swirls here. Something kind of spooky so this is my completed halloween look my first completed halloween look a reminder this is a look that i've seen all over instagram and i thought it was a really cute one that i always wanted to try so i did i figured i'd film it and put it on youtube and maybe if you guys liked it you could follow along here is a close-up I don't really like myself in black lipstick all the time. But um, yeah, guys, this is the completed look. I hope you like it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And be sure to tune into my You Now. I will be streaming it twice a week. Um, 
And I hope you're looking forward to more makeup looks for the rest of this month. Let me know what other kind of looks you'd like me to try for Halloween. And also tag me on Twitter and Instagram if you do decide to try this look. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.